you know, and, and when you talk about the three, six mafia, you know, people were talking about smoking weed and everything back then, but, but three, six mafia were the, the first ones to really talk about doing hard drugs, cocaine, syrup, like codeine. And I mean, really, really, they kind of established a, a pathway that other people did later on. I mean, how did you feel about that type of subject matter? Here you are still a teenager. Really? No. I end up finding out there what was going on. You know, like people going, they were doing sipping on their scissor and people didn't know when they were hollering, everybody get your roll on, they talking about pills, you know. People didn't know, you know, but it was fun times though. So it didn't bother me. Yeah, well, you know, you mentioned, you know, sipping on scissor, which, you know, 3-6 Mafia and UGK did, uh, which was one of my favorite songs from both groups. It might be my favorite song from both groups, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and, I, and I'm a fan of both. And uh, and you were actually there for the music video and everything, right? Yeah, that's when I first met PMC and Bun B at the video shoot. Ah, yeah. I know Bun pretty well. Uh, I got to hang out with Pimp C one time, maybe two weeks before he died. And it was just like, it was something you never forget hanging out with Pimp C. That's oh, the one you, thing. You, that, you was just meeting him? Yeah, I oh, just man, met him. you missed some wonderful years then. So you met the, the new Pimp. You ain't get to meet the... The pimp, pimp there, woo, pimp crazy. <laughs> he he was he was crazy, and he never stopped talking. I remember it was like story after story after story. He never. was just the center of the room. Uh, so much personality. We were actually supposed to do an interview, but he didn't have his hair cut, so he didn't want to he didn't want to do it that day. So I, mm. I missed my opportunity, and then he passed um, a couple of weeks later. Man, his manager was a friend of mine, also. Yeah, that I remember uh, we was at a club in Atlanta, and it was like a whole lot of us there. I think it was like uh, Criminal Mind, them squeaky, uh, Pimp C, and it was a, some old little rappers that was there too. And Pimp C, he was just talking shit. Yeah, mighty fucking fuck nigga, mighty fuck boys, mighty niggas, they, they be hating, mighty. They don't know nothing about getting no real money. So we just, okay, we, everybody, we still drinking and, and smoking and doing what we do. He just calling us down on such. Yeah, I'm telling him, fuck around and smack one of these niggas, mighty. These niggas need to find us somebody to play with. So we like, Okay, so we still thinking, you know, everything cool. So we walked out, someone in the rappers come over and tell us, man, fuck that nigga, man, that nigga talking about me. I'm like, oh, we like, wait a minute. <laughs> we thought y'all kind of girl. I did come with him, but they mind talking to me. <laughs> I'm talking about, man, you miss, you you got to know the new pimp. Man, you missed the damn fool. <laughs> you missed the damn fool. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, man. I, I'm still I'm still disappointed that I didn't get to actually sit down with him and do the proper interview, man. Uh, I, was, I was such a fan, like I was such a fan of, of him, you know. That, yeah, that it's sad. Yeah, 